Hello everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are gearing up for Christmas, we are gearing up for the holiday season and what better way to do that than with Father Christmas himself, Santa Claus, Papa Noel, Kris Kringle, uh, the man of many names that uh, that comes to all of those who made the, uh, the good list uh, in action figure form. So the next installment, the, the third installment, uh, character-wise, in Four Horsemen Studios' Figure Obscura line is Father Christmas. He joins last year's Krampus figure and, uh, and earlier this year, the Headless Horseman um, as the third kind of mythical, uh, magical character in the line. So uh, similar to the Krampus packaging from last year, we have this really nice kind of uh, backdrop here. Uh, description of Father Christmas. It's got those same magnets in it that hold it on. And then, uh, and then of course, you know, our nice big window and we can see Santa here. We've got multiple head sculpts, tons of accessories. Uh, looks like there's even a Christmas tree in there. Um, great presentation as always from the folks at Four Horsemen Studios. So let's get this guy into the light box and let's take a closer look at Father Christmas. <laughs> have it folks there is Santa Claus and this figure is very pretty <laughs> um, out of the gate kind of my, my only initial really complaint with this figure is I wish he was bigger like he doesn't have a belly as you can see when you take all the robes and stuff off he's actually pretty slender frame wise and I, and I feel like you know Santa Claus is kind of known for being a little jollier around the midsection um so i would have i would have appreciated a more stout frame on him and i know the the folks at four horsemen studios you know have mythic legions figures that have you know you know a little bit bigger of, of a body um so it would have been great to have that but uh in terms of presentation and accessories and articulation and detail and paint and all that good stuff uh it's it's really great i love the uh the lantern on the stick I love all of the toys. I loved the little Christmas surprise on the inside. Um, so, you know, much like Krampus came with his bag full of uh, treats, you know, the, the little toys and then the extra two helmets for, you know, that are they're swappable. They both, they fit on him, of course. You know, if you want to kind of make him a, a Mythic Legions character or, you know, your other Mythic Legions figures. So you now have two super, super cool helmets uh, to go with them. They also filled the bag really nicely. The tree is a nice touch. I love the the wired uh, hood, um, the wired uh, cloak. You know, everything kind of sits and drapes really nicely. The actual metal clasps on both the coat and the uh, and the hood piece here are excellent. Everything fits and drapes on him very nicely. Um, all in all, this is a super fun release. Uh, at this time, I. I think they're still available at storehorseman.com. Uh, we'll put a link in the description where you can get yours. But uh, you know, this this didn't instantly sell out like the Headless Horseman and Krampus did in the past. Of course, you know, Santa Santa Claus is is not for everybody, right? You know, if, if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, 
you know, this, this figure might not do it for you, but, uh, you know, I, I, I personally love this figure Obscura line. Um, I think you get a great deal for what you pay for. You know, this figure was $60 and I feel like he came with, you know, enough accessories and, and soft goods and detail and everything uh, where I feel like this figure was definitely worth uh, what I paid for it. And, uh, you know, the it's nice to support a, an indie toy company, especially local here in New Jersey. So I look forward to uh, continuing the figure Obscura line. Uh, while I, I'm not very deep into the Mythic Legions, I, th this line really speaks to me. I love these kind of presentations of these classic characters. Um, I would love to see something like maybe Bigfoot or, uh, you know, the Abominable Snowman or something, uh, you know, another mythic uh, character come to this line. I, I hope they continue it. I hope they keep going forward. So uh, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss videos where we uh, take a deeper dive into the toys that we love. Leave us a comment. What figure do you want to see come to the figure of Skiraline from Four Horsemen Studios. Let us know in the comments. There's a lot of choices out there. Um, while you're liking and subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, where we're constantly posting toy reviews, deals, availability, toy photography, anything and everything that we think would help out the community. And then, of course, the podcast. So Adventures in Collecting, you can find us wherever you find podcasts. Simply search for Adventures in Collecting or hit the link in the description below, which will take you to our website. You can find links to all of the things that I just mentioned. And speaking of Christmas, if you're watching this video on Wednesday, what's today? The 14th, we are very close to our 100th episode, which will also be our uh, annual Christmas spectacular. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And as always, ho, 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 and until next time.